Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. Gibson, the manufacturers of guitars who actually own the rights of Cakewalk Sonar, late last year decided that they no longer going to support Cakewalk and discontinued the actual line. This was really sad for a lot of people, including myself as well, because I do have few licenses of Cakewalk Sonar and I have used Sonar for quite some time in various projects. And then late last year, near the end of the year, BandLab actually purchased the intellectual property rights of Cakewalk, which was good news. This meant that something was going to happen to Cakewalk Sonar and all of the users of Cakewalk Sonar who were in despair and they were moving from Cakewalk into other DAWs like uh, Persona Studio One had specials to grab a few people from the Cakewalk users, as well as Cubase and Pro Tools and so on. BandLab coming in and getting the intellectual property from Gibson, we was sort of good news, but we weren't sure what was going to happen. And then on 4th of April 2018, there was an announcement from BandLab saying that they are going to actually decided to launch Cakewalk Sonar Platinum, but this time they were going to give it away all for free. That's right, all for free. The Cakewalks Sonar Platinum Edition is the top range of everything of Cakewalk, not even just the artist version, which was quite sort of shocking and, you know, unbelievable that this was actually happening. Of course, there are some uh, things like third party plugins have been removed, like Melodyne and few others. Obviously, due to licensing issues, they would have been removed because they are giving it away. After all, they can't actually pay licenses to Salamony and, and all the others. So they have actually removed them. But Platinum itself is still the same. That also included the, um, the Pro Channel. It supports VST. It supports everything. Unlimited MIDI and unlimited audio tracks with all of its Sonar Platinum functionality given away for free. Now I made the announcement as soon as I actually uh, received the email and uh, it was really exciting for everybody. So in this video I'm going to quickly guide you how to download and install the uh, Cakewalk Sonar Platinum by BandLab for free. So let's head out to my laptop and I'll show you how to do it. To download Cakewalk by BandLab, first you need to go to bandlab.com and create an account. You can use your Facebook account or your Google account or just simply an email account to create one. It is all free. Once you have created your account, you can log in. Once you've logged in, then you can visit bandlab.com slash products slash Cakewalk. And from that page, you can get all the details of what's included, what you can do with it, and what the limitations are, if any. And what the minimum system requirements are. One thing to note, that is Windows 7 or higher, but 64-bit only. So if your Windows is 32-bit, then it will not work. So you're going to make sure that your Windows is 64-bit version. Otherwise, it's not supported. Once you've got that, then the next thing to do is to download the BandLab Download Assistant. You simply click Download and run the installation. Once you've downloaded BandLab Assistant and installed it, and you run it for the first time, it will ask you to log in. So log in to your BandLab account. Then go to apps and click the install option. You will be prompted for two options. Install Cakewalk including all instruments or Cakewalk itself. Best to choose the first one. But remember choosing the complete installation will require about 3 gigabytes of hard drive space. If for any reason the BandLab assistant cannot install Cakewalk or the installation does not complete, you can always check your downloads folder 
for cakewalk.exe and instruments.exe and run the installation from there as well. Once it's installed and running, you can click open from BandLab Assistant or the icon on your desktop. Cakewalk by BandLab is now installed and ready for musical creation. So what's my future prediction for uh, Cakewalk Sonar Platinum now that it's given away for free by BandLab? I guess because BandLab have their own online collaborative platform, I guess they will try to now implement that into Cakewalk. And if that happens, it'll be very similar to Pro Tools, but without having the limitation of Pro Tools that you can only collaborate online and have three projects where Cakewalk Sonar is offline and you can have unlimited projects. And at the same time, it's very similar to Ohm Studio, which its development pretty much halted a couple of years ago. It hasn't moved anywhere, even though it's still available. So this will open up a whole new platform of people not only being able to use it to multiple projects offline, but being able to collaborate and work with many artists with a full-fledged DAW, but with the online collaboration, cloud computing, as well as you know saving all your projects and audios online and other musicians contributing into your project and so on. So if that really happens, which I hope it does, then world of DAWs and all multiple DAWs, which are trying to give away some free, they might have some challenge on their hands. Now, having said that, obviously, the reason there are so many different DAWs is because of each DAW's workflow. Now, Cakewalk Sonar Platinum, though it's a full-fledged DAW and uh, with no limitations, its workflow may not be suitable to you. You might like other DAW, like FL Studio, um, which I have a license, which I, but I cannot use it because it doesn't suit my workflow. And I do have other DAWs, free or commercial ones. Uh, I, I, I have Cubase, but the workflow of it, it doesn't suit my workflow. That's why my main DAW is Studio One Pro. So it's not for everybody, but if you can actually put your mind and learn the workflow of Cakewalk, it might be maybe that it will suit your workflow as well, once you learn how to actually use the software. Well, I hope this quick guide was helpful for you. Now you know where to download it. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions whether uh, Sonar Platinum can do this or can do that. How do you do this and how do you do that? And I'll try my best to answer those questions. Again, you got to understand, I only had the artist version for some time. Platinum obviously has few additional uh, features and functions, which I am not 100% aware of. But I'm sure if I don't know it, someone else will also be able to answer your questions as well. Until then, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music now for free with Cakewalk Sonar Platinum by BandLab. Cheerio, guys.